Good evening and thank you for joining us on this busy Thursday night. We begin tonight with this extraordinary moment in our nation's history. For the first time in our country's 247 years, a former president of the United States has been arraigned on criminal charges of trying to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power. CBS News was inside the courtroom for the entire hearing, which lasted less than 30 minutes. The former president in a blue suit and a red tie appeared calm as he said aloud, not guilty. Also in court today, six D.C. federal judges sitting in the back row, including one who said those who egged on the January 6 rioters, quote, stoked the flames of fear. The four-count indictment details Donald Trump's alleged criminal plot to hold on to power and overturn the 2020 presidential election. Security was tight around the courthouse in D.C., just blocks from the U.S. Capitol. There's a lot to get to tonight, and CBS's Robert Costa is here to start us off. Good evening, Robert. Good evening to you, Nora. It was something Americans have never seen before. A former president accused of trying to defraud the nation he once led and arriving back in Washington to a crowd gathered not at the White House, but at a federal courthouse. Former President Donald Trump took on his critics after he left his arraignment in Washington. This is a persecution of a political opponent this was never supposed to happen in America. He traveled to the federal courthouse under heavy security, escorted by his Secret Service detail. Throngs of protesters and fans gathered outside. Once inside, he was processed, but no mugshot was taken. Inside, Trump was fingerprinted. In the courtroom, he raised his right hand to be sworn in. He stated his name and gave his age as 7777. He pleaded not guilty to four charges brought in a grand jury investigation being led by special counsel Jack Smith, who was also in the courtroom. Three counts of conspiracy, one for obstruction, for allegedly leading a criminal conspiracy to try to overthrow the 2020 presidential election. The judge told Trump the obstruction charge alone carries a maximum of 20 years in prison. Former Trump attorney Tim Parlatori says prosecutors have an uphill climb, proving Trump knew he lost. Did he know at the time that the claims of fraud were false? Did he know at the time that he'd actually lost the election? The indictment says Trump deliberately disregarded the truth, a view shared by former Attorney General William Barr. I have come to believe that he uh, knew well that he had lost the election. Sources say Trump's lawyers plan to argue that Trump's false claims about the election were not criminal and that his efforts were driven by the advice of outside attorneys like Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani, and John Eastman, among others. CBS News has learned that they are likely some of the six alleged co-conspirators cited in the indictment. The judge scheduled the next hearing for August 28th. The special counsel has called for a speedy trial, but sources close to Trump's legal team say they will push for a delay, arguing they need time to navigate the many cases facing Trump. Robert Costa, thank you.